ultimate sacrifice that you can give to God, yourself. And in the book of Romans, they say, give yourself as a living sacrifice because that is holy and acceptable to God. And finally, it is the giving of your substance, which is not even yours. David acknowledges and says, even the silver I am giving you is not mine. You have given me. Even the clothes that you are wearing today, they are not yours. There are very many people who work better than you. There are people who are qualified more than you, and they are not wearing what you are wearing. I tell people when I wear like this, when I'm wearing, I look at my clothes and I thank God. Because there was a time I was wearing my father's shirt. There was a time I would not have the dresses and the shoes I'm wearing. I didn't have. So when I wear and I stand, I stand giving thanks to God because he has been good to me. And David said that this God is a good God. He had given him everything. And here you are. Today, gathered by our bishop. And he has spoken already about the cathedral and what he wants us to do. Many of us don't know that your blessing and even your investment will be lasting if you give. Many of the people who refuse to do the work of God and especially the building of the temple of God, they work for nothing. God makes sure that your hands have holes. Every time you, the money comes, it, it just disappears. You have so much riches, but nothing to account for. Because God works to make sure that you yourself, you not enjoy it. The other place that God needs you to serve, when you have served God with his, your time, with your praises, with your worship, then he wants you to serve God that you see. If you can look at the other person, you can tell them you are made in God's image. And therefore, you are the only God I have ever seen. <laughs>